Following up from PAX West, we saw this Snowblind panel at the Intel booth. This is by IY Power, and it was sort of a prototype. It's still a prototype, but this is a slightly evolved version of what we saw a few weeks ago. The idea here today is to talk more about how it works, what's actually in the panel, uh, and how IY Power has been building this thing to see if it's feasible for production, because before we didn't really talk about the technical details. So uh, what we have here is an NZXT Noctis 450 case. It's a white and black case. So the white and black is chosen specifically because of its high contrast, and that's something we did talk about at PAX. The PAX system at the Intel booth had, uh, well, the components inside were different. It was a white motherboard, video card, there actually was one, and it had a reflective back, and everything was pretty much a white and black finish. So that helps with the contrast, but we're still getting a really good picture here on this panel, and part of that is because the inclusion of a light guide. So this LCD, is now uh, backed behind it with a light guide, which in our B-roll and photos and things, you'll see it's kind of like a dot pattern on the display. And in person, you can pretty much see right through that. You don't even really pick it up. I, I can see it a bit from this viewing angle, but dead on, it's pretty much invisible. The cameras pick it up well, so you'll see that in the cameras and in the shots. Uh, but that's the light guide that helps some with the contrast, with making these black colors a harder black, so there's less of a gradient there. and the panel itself up here, you'll notice if you saw our previous video, this is the thicker part now. Previously it was down here, and that's basically where some of the PCB and stuff like that's mounted. The cable connects up here, and previously it was in the bottom. Part of that is just because, well, I guess from a cable management perspective, it's pretty clean to route through here, down through the back of the case, and then where it's going. Uh, but also viewing angles, so viewing angles obviously matter with displays. As for the cable itself, it routes through, as I said, behind the back, plugs into the bottom into, uh, into an expansion slot. So IO Power has made a custom enclosure for a PCB that's just sending the cable, the signal back to the motherboard right now because there's no video card in the system. And then the file that is playing here is actually just a video file like an MP4, and that's playing an Intel movie, which is on the host system. Uh, or I guess the host system right here, that's the panel is, is on itself. So that's the panel. This is the Snowblind. I think that covers a bit more of what's going on in terms of production, manufacturing, things like that. This side panel was a one-off made by NZXT. So they took a panel for probably a Noctis 450, punched a hole in it, and you get this wider window. So the Noctis 450 has a smaller window than this. This is a 5x4 display, uh, 1280 by 1024 and then they punched the hole to fit that. And for feasibility, it's basically just a matter of, is there interest in the market, and what does it cost to make? Because the manufacturing feasibility has been handled, and I have things it's actually possible to make. So if you're interested, I guess, leave comments below, let them know, maybe let them know what you'd be willing to spend extra on something like this, because that's the main question at this point. Otherwise, it just becomes something like the H Tower or something where vendors have it at booths. Uh, because it's still useful for that, I suppose. So, links in the description below for more information. As always, Patreon link to post a video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.